Sarah Feckety is never far from the diamond. I always say that softball, um, it's a game of failure, but the game knows uh, who puts into it and it always pays you back. All these years later, softball is paying her back Saturday. A two-time All-American at UT and current Alcoa head coach, Feckety is just the second player in Tennessee softball history to have her jersey retired. It's, it's special for a Tennessee girl to be honored in that way, um, and it probably means a little bit more um, for somebody that grew up, uh, you know, cheering for the orange and white. All right, here we go, Jay! Feckety joins former teammate and Olympian Monica Abbott as the only players whose numbers will never be worn again by a Lady Vol. Monica is probably the best player to ever play the game of softball, period. Uh, she is a phenomenal person, athlete, and softball player. And um, to be able to have my jersey next to hers is an incredible honor. And it's an honor that almost never happened. Ralph and Karen Weekly had just taken the reins of the program during Feckety's last year at Maryville High School. Sarah Feckety was our first recruit. We said we were going to go get the kids from Tennessee. She was already committed to another school, but we did it right. We told the other school we're going to interview her and go after her. She committed. She was fantastic. You've got to understand, this is a Tennessee girl who led the nation in hitting. Led the nation in hitting. I was sitting in Suzanne Singleton's office, and I called Ralph and Karen and left them a message um, back when we didn't have cell phones. And <laughs> and I just told them, hey, I'm really interested. I, I, you know, I want you to come out and watch me play. And uh, you know, they gave me an opportunity, and uh, I ran with it. And running was exactly what Feckety was known for. A pitcher in high school, she switched to the outfield in college, and from a right-handed hitter to a left-handed slapper in the box. It's funny because. When I'm coaching, I can't hit ground balls left-handed. Even though I made a living hitting ground balls and beating them out to first base, I have to do it right-handed. <laughs> when I decide to do something, that's kind of how my personality is, that if this is what we're doing, then I'm on the boat and let's go. You know, we're going to go all in, um, if that's checkers or, you know, <laughs> you know, whatever it is. We're playing to win, and we're going to do it to the best of our ability. Reporting in Alcoa for your official station of the Vols, I'm Zach Rickens.